pepperoni, pepperoni <laughs> and cheese. mushrooms Ooh, and olives. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We like that, don't we? <laughs> we love that. Crying smiley face. Slap in the face. Keys. Bourbon toothpicks. Ooh. Oh, I had to do this the other day on a talk show that I could pick things up with my toes, but it's not even a secret party <laughs> trick. It's just something that I said I could do once in an interview because I didn't have one. <laughs> But now it's a thing. I can move my ears. Mm -hmm. You can't see it from that distance. Because <laughs> you're going to say try. I mean, okay, you, you can't like see it from that. He's doing it. Is that it? <laughs> he did it. At the moment, a uh, Christmas sandwich. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Arms as long as fingers. Fingers, fingers as long as arms. arms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Great British Bake Off. I don't really watch any reality. I have seen that. So I could, I could match and go with that. Yeah. Yeah. It's not my best joke, but what do you, uh, how do you turn a duck into this a soul singer? This is mine singer? as well, by the way. <laughs> how do you turn a duck into a soul singer? Put it in the microwave until it's Bill Withers. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Night, Nick. Morning. Morning, Joe. <laughs> uh, I, I think I said that's perfect. Um, I think I said I'm ten minutes away. That was probably. Maybe a snowman? Hmm. I can't remember it? why. Was that a party? Oh. <laughs> no, not <laughs> just uh, last At Thursday. <laughs> so, um, watching yeah. the snowman. Yeah, exactly. I did like doing the dance with Rachel. That was a fun moment and uh, fun putting it together in rehearsal. The, the just like ridiculous moves and rehearsing it in front of all you guys was, was mm -hmm, a laugh. Mm -hmm. and, um, I did like doing that. That was cool. It's definitely not a conventional kind of uh, ballroom dance. Or oh, it is. It is in a way with the costumes and the kind of stoicism and uh, and, and the music. But then the, the moves are. A little bit out there. It's just the, the, the two weeks rehearsal, I think, we kind of went over it every day and tried to put some moves together. It did actually go on and on and on, but it cuts to that amazing shot of Olivia watching us. Oh yeah, I giggled quite a lot. I giggle quite a lot anyway throughout work normally. But it, because of how ridiculous I looked as well, the leading ladies found it quite difficult to look at me in scenes and take me seriously. So I was always breaking. Every time I had to say the word indeed. <laughs> You've got some good lines, you've got some great lines. Nadia, Stacy, the costume designer, came up with these wonderful looks and wigs and, and then Sandy Powell designed these beautiful costumes. So putting them on, it just transforms you into, into the character and I felt very sassy. Scenes between us, there was loads, weren't there? There were lots of scenes between us. We were actually the leads of the movie yeah. when we read the joke. <laughs> I know one scene between me and Emma was oh, really? I think. But apart from that... It wasn't a good scene then, was it? It was... <laughs> Obviously not. Um, yeah, no, it feels like it was all there. But the wonderful yeah. thing watching the film is obviously we're there for our bits, but then, and we'd seen it played in rehearsals, but watching the emotion and the, the, the three ladies' characters in the bits that we weren't there, yeah. I found it really <clears throat> heart-wrenching and like we're all having a giggle during rehearsals, but then suddenly there's this really yeah. emotional, like, charged and wonderful performances from those three. So it was like, it was a treat to watch it and see that. She's the coolest. She's, she's amazing, amazing yeah. to act with because she's also like the most down to earth, lovely lady, and then can just suddenly like pff, on the on the flick of a switch become this phenomenal character in front of your eyes. And yeah. I, I, like Nick was saying, seeing seeing because I think I, I I don't really cross over with her in the in the film so much, but we obviously saw her in the rehearsal when we were all there. But those moments when she's kind of like stumbling when she's stumbling down the corridor and she takes the baby and mm -hmm. the, those kind of the bits where she begins to fall apart. I love seeing those moments. There's a lot going on in that movie. Simon Kimberg's written a brilliant script for it, and I think it's just taken the X-Men Lake to a very different emotional place. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm excited for people to see that. I'm, I'd be up for joining anything that's you know, working with great people and, and an exciting project. So whether that's an independent movie or a massive, you know, massive movie, then you just want to, you just want to do good things. You have to pick very carefully here because oh, this will go out on I the internet choose. and people will run away. Yeah, I feel like Spider Man is the one that I've most consistently watched. So, and he has got a good power. Yeah, well, they're doing all those spin-off Spider Man movies as well. It'd be Are fun they? to be a villain in a Spider Man movie. That would be cool. Because they did like Venom and all those, didn't they? So maybe it'd that would be good. Fun. Maybe it'd be fun to be a villain. In a Let's world. do that. Yeah, yeah we'll do you, that. You heard it here first. <laughs>